our next winner, first of all, he's a really lovely guy. It was a real pleasure to meet him tonight. Uh, he's made a name for himself in last year's groundbreaking and hugely popular rom-com, Crazy Rich Asians. He's since starred in a number of, of projects, most recently the reboot of Charlie's Angels, alongside Kristen Stewart, Elizabeth Banks, and Sir Patrick Stewart. There's little doubt he has a fantastic future ahead of him. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of GQ's Breakthrough Actor of the Year in association with Grey Goose is Chris Pang. Uh, yeah, he was talking about Charlie's Angels. If you haven't seen it, please go see it. We need a little help. Um, <laughs> it's good to be back in Australia. I live in LA now. It's horrible. Um, but when I open my mouth and people hear the accent, people are just, it just confuses people. They're like, uh, they're like, yo, dude, that's a dope accent. That's what they sound like. Uh, and then they're like, I've even had, um, I didn't know they had Asians in Australia. Um, what was it like growing up there? That's when I uh, tell them how awesome it was to uh, ride my kangaroo to school, to take that compulsory lesson on how to tackle a crocodile, and, and drop bears. Um, but I didn't tell them about what it was like growing up in Australia. So uh, growing up as an Asian kid was kind of tough. I never saw myself really represented uh, in the media and uh, not being validated through pop culture and seeing your image represented. It's tough, especially as a teenager in your formative years, it can be very damaging. Uh, and so I am particularly honored today to receive this award and honored to receive it from GQ Australia uh, on behalf of teenage me and all the ethnically diverse kids growing up in Australia. I want to thank the GQ team. Thank you, the amazing Mike Christensen, uh, uh, for recognizing us and validating us and allowing us to have an identity. Thank you.